I get made fun of in school quite a lot and it affects my mental health. Any tips as I'm losing hope? Okay, so Faith, this is a very, very good question, right? Um, you know, being at school today, I think is a very, very difficult thing. Really, I, I think uh, the challenges that you have at being at school today are, are next level, right? I'll give you an example. So this week I've been uh, working from a library, right? I do that a lot because then it's quieter and it's easier to work from there. And what happens is during the day at the library, I just carry on as normal. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, right? Then about 3.40, 3.45, all these kids from school, they start coming in uh, to the library, right? And then what happens is they start sitting around me because by that time, most of the people that are in the library, they're kind of gone. So I'm sitting there now and I'm with uh, I'm with like loads of uh, school children. And I've got to say, it's fascinating. Like being there, it blew my mind. Um, and, and probably not in a good way. The reason it blew my mind is just spending that time with, with children. And, you know, one thing I was quite uh, interested to see is that a lot of the brothers and sisters, especially the Muslim children, they didn't. They weren't really phased by my parents. Like in a, in the old days, I was thinking that if if I saw a guy who looked like me, like a long beard and like dressed in a thobe and stuff, I don't know if I would even sit on that table because I'd be like I'd be shy or whatever, right? But a lot of these people they weren't like that. And so I was listening to the conversations they were having. I was listening to the challenges that they're going through. I was listening to the mindsets. And I spent hours and hours around these kids uh, in the last few times I've been to the library, and and that's like within the last week or so. Um, and you know, I kind of deduce from that that growing up today is a very very tough thing it's really really tough like um you know growing up uh, at that age is tough all the time but being in today's age is different right we have a situation where our identity as muslims is is being really attacked right so it's not just that you've got the normal challenges of being at school but you've got the normal challenges plus actually having this whole uh, you know, issue with uh, Islam and being Muslim. Uh, and this is tough because really at school and in these years, this is when your identity is formed. This is when you start to become uh, a person and an adult. And um, what I would say is that there's 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 a lot of stuff around school, right? The first thing is that if it's actually bullying, because, you know, someone's taking, someone's making fun out of you and this and that, like if it's actual bullying and it's getting to a point where it's like really, really, really tough, I think you need to speak to someone uh, that you know and you trust, okay? That's the first thing I would say. Now, there's, there's a range of different kind of people that you can speak to, but you have to speak to someone, right? Because like it's great that you've had the courage to come up over here and talk about it, uh, and it's, it's really, really brave of you to do that. But I do think that you need to talk to someone. Um, and you know what? Usually it's a hard part is, is just saying the first bit. I remember when, when I was kind of going to get married and... Uh, you know, I was going to speak to my parents about it. It was like really, really tough. Like one of the hardest things to ever speak to your parents about, right? But like I just blurted it out. I just went out. And then once it was out, it was like it's done type of thing. So what I would say is that um, try and talk to someone about it, right? If it's really bad, if it's really, really serious, um, let someone know about it, right? Because the way you've kind of uh, described it is that, you you know, you feel like it's affecting your mental health. You feel like you're, you're like uh, losing hope, right? So I would say don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Like, you know, everything that you've described, like, you know, being made fun of and having issues in school, every one of us have been through it. Like, look at me, like, I've been through it, right? But right now, I don't even think about that stuff. It's like, I can't even remember stuff from school, you know? So um, what I would say is that, you know, speak to people that you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, someone you trust, a friend, anyone. Second thing is that the people that are doing this, sometimes they don't actually understand the impact they're having on another human being. And really, like, you can't control their behavior so much, but you can control what you communicate to them, right? So rather than just being, like, just being okay with it, you could actually discuss with them in particular that, look, the way you're making me feel is like this, okay? And it, and it sounds silly, right? But sometimes it's needed because you need to really assess the situation that is this someone who is saying uh, this to me because they know it's hurting me and they really feel like they want to hurt me or is it someone who's just like sometimes children are just like really cruel and they don't know it right and they're just being like that and they don't think it has that much impact so I would say like maybe look at communicating right and then the third thing I would say is that look at uh, building your relationship with Allah right building your relationship with Allah because you know the truth is like whether you're a child whether you're an adult you know the only thing that's ever going to solve your issue is Allah um, and I don't mean solve is like suddenly everything will get better. But I'm saying giving that contentness to your heart, that connection to Allah, 
that's the only thing that will give you hope. That's the only thing that your heart's going to find uh, some relief in, right? So I think that building that relationship with Allah, correcting yourself. I think the more you correct yourself as a human being, um, you know, the better you feel, right? So, so really, you wanna you wanna check yourself. I mean, if you're, I don't know what age you are, but if you if you're a if you're at the age that, uh, you know, as Muslims, we consider you an adult, which is you've gone through puberty, then at that point, you know, you really want to think about your obligations from Allah, like, you know, praying and obviously reading Quran, having that connection with Allah. Um, and I would say, like, build that up. We're, we're in a place where there's so much knowledge, alhamdulillah. You can go out on YouTube, you can get some great knowledge, you can get um, all kinds of information to inspire you about Islam. And, you know, just, just go out there. So just to recap, like I said, some of the things I would mention is that if it's extremely bad, then you need to talk to someone. And by the way, talking to someone, there's helplines out there for Muslims. Uh, there's a Muslim youth helpline that I used to be a counselor on. They're really, really good to speak to as well. I don't know if they're operating. Uh, and, and just talk to someone about it, right? Get some more advice because from, from here, it's very difficult for me to get the full context from you, right? Um, and then secondly, like I said, apart from that, like you need to really like discuss with that person if, it, if it's doing that and you need to let them know that it's having that impact on you. Uh, thirdly, like I said, you need to build that relationship uh, with Allah and you need to like really make yourself stronger, right? Um, and you need to you need to remind yourself, like you need to kind of coach yourself as well. This is like the fourth bonus tip that you need to coach yourself and say, you know what? Like, although I feel this way right now, like I'm not going to feel like this forever. Your feelings, your emotions, they come and they're very strong, but then they pass as well if you let them go, right? So I would say that um, you could do stuff like uh, there's an app called Headspace for something practical. That does like meditation and things like that. So if you want, ever wanted to like get your mind relaxed in the morning, it might change your mood. There's things like Balance and Headspace. They're two apps that are really good for meditation to kind of clear your mind out. And hopefully that will make you feel like uh, less stressed and, and, and less kind of affected by it. And then the last thing is, of course, you know, maybe you should go see your doctor because if it's truly mental health, then that's more than just, you know, uh, seeking help from Allah. Maybe there's some real... Uh, help that you need from a qualified doctor and maybe that's the best thing for you to do and Allah knows best uh, I hope and I pray that Allah makes it easy for you and that it goes really really well uh, inshallah for <laughs>